Hi everyone, this is Sam Cafferty. I'm an application engineer with QTE, and today I'm going to show you setup sheets and tool lists in the X Plus add-on for Mastercam. As we all know, communication is key, and these are a great tool for making sure that everyone in the shop is on the same page. Let's start with setup sheets. Once you have X Plus installed, select the operations you want for your setup sheet. I'm going to pick my roughing and finishing toolpath groups here. Then go to the X Plus tab and click Configure Setup Sheet. You can load and save your options here and select from your headers and other parameters that go in your operations. I'm going to use this default too. Choose green check and see what it looks like. So this is a stock setup sheet. You can see we've got a screenshot here from Mastercam for easy reference. We have information in our header and then our operation table down here. You can get all kinds of information about the operations, including tool types, stock and X and Y even the operation time and the total cycle time. It automatically puts a screenshot of the Mastercam graphics window, and you can even add your company's logo. I'm going to go ahead and change it to the QTE logo now and show you how to do that. Save your company logo somewhere on your hard drive as logo.png. Then we can use Mastercam to open the shared folder and put in that logo. So go back to Mastercam, go to my Home tab, select Command Finder, Once it comes up, I'll type in shared. This will open my shared folder. X plus is in the public documents directory, just like shared Mastercam. So I go back to public documents, select X plus, and I see logo.png. Then I'll go back to my company logo, simply drag it over. I want to replace it. Now I have the QTE logo there, and if I go back to my setup sheet and click refresh, and I have my logo. Let's go back to Mastercam and customize some things now. Go back to configure setup sheet. Header customizes the header you saw underneath the QTE logo and to the left of the screenshot. This is general information about the operation, date, the file name, and you can select from anything in these dropdowns or add your own custom files. So let's say instead of programmer, I just want to put the username of the account that made the program. And then here I can add my own custom line. Machining Center, I'll put Haas VF3. Click green check. And I can see the changes I've made. Now I've got the username and my Machining Center in here. We can also change these things in the operation table using parameters. Let's say I don't need the corner radius of my tool, can click remove, but I do want to know the name of the holder. Click add. And I can also change these up and down with these arrows. Green check here. And there's my holder name right in my setup sheet. Since we're using HTML, the setup sheet acts like a web page. And that means that you can either use landscape or portrait for printing. And you can also save it as a PDF or send it right to your printer. You can even keep it as an HTML file if you use something like Plex or some other sort of machine data system. It also means that we have access to some very powerful editing features like CSS. CSS is a way of formatting web pages and it works right through Mastercam, right here with this button. We can rename columns or output text as a barcode, and X Plus comes with some good examples to get you started. So I'm going to click Load here and load this Replace Text example. Hit the green check. We see we've now got a green column, New Text 1 instead of our tool number, and New Text 2 instead of our tool type. If I go back to configure and click the CSS button, I see this replace text hack right here. Here's my new text one. Let's say I want to change that column back to tool number. I save that CSS file, click refresh, and I see it right there. You can change the color of text as well. 
Let's make it blue. As you can see, there's a ton of customization available, and your QTE application team is ready on support to assist you if you need help. Tool lists work largely the same way. But whereas setup sheets are, have a row for each operation, tool lists only output a row for each tool used. There are some other options for tool lists as well, like this one that draws a buildup. Great example. It can draw a buildup of each of your tools or switch to a simple text-based tool table. Tool lists are also fully customizable, just like setup sheets, and can be formatted with CSS. X Plus will work on any version of Mastercam 2018 and up, and you can use your setup sheets and tool sheets all around the shop with a network license. If you'd like to request an evaluation of the software or want more information, go to qtemfg.com or email us at support at qtemfg.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.